All right, so now we're gonna jump into the chords of the song, right? And they're gonna be focused a lot around this D minor voicing right here. So it's a D minor bar chord voicing. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this alternate thing. I'm just gonna play it kind of finger style-ish. You can use a pick, you can play it however. You can alter these, it doesn't have to be the exact same thing. If you just take the chords and just play them close in the same time, it'll sound great. It's no big deal, you don't have to play it exactly how it is. But what I'm doing, to kind of create that cantina atmosphere that we all know and love is I'm jumping back between root notes, right? So the root note of a D minor is a D, which is the fifth right here, but I'm going to the fifth below, and that's what kind of gets that back and forth kind of sound. So I'm hitting the root note, playing the chord. So root chord, fifth chord, root chord, fifth chord, root chord, fifth chord, right? So one, two, three, Four. So I'm just kind of walking, moving the chords with the beat, right? And all I'm doing is I'm going the D minor to the fifth a couple times, a C major voicing. You can play any C major voicing you want, you can play an open one. But I'm going with this one to a B flat, to an F major, to a D minor. So D, A, D, A, C, B flat, F, D. So that's gonna be part one of this section. Then the next time we do it, same thing. D, A, D, A, C, C. Now, this one's gonna kind of follow the, the lead melody a little bit, right? So we have, after we leave the D minor, which is the same part, we're gonna to go to the C. And then we're gonna walk backwards. C, B flat, A. This is just an open A power chord, open A and 2D, so. And I'm just hitting that G note. You can replace the G with chords. We want to do a full power chord thing. But I think it's a little bit easier just to go. And then back to the third part. Which is the exact same thing I started before. And then all I'm doing there is the same chords you've already used, but I'm doing a C major. F to D minor, right? And now where the melody is going, we're gonna kind of do the same thing, but with different chords. So we're gonna start on the B flat, kind of power chord, right? So one A, three D, three G. I'm gonna raise the root note a half step, so. So now this part is a really cool sounding thing. All it is, is I'm holding the bottom four strings on the third fret putting the pinky down two frets above on the fifth fret, and then jumping up to play a G minor chord. So. And then we're gonna mirror this, but lower, which is. So it's just the third fret to the fourth fret on the B string, to the third fret, G string, one, two, and on an F, which is the third fret on the D string, right? And then we're gonna go into the second section, right? All it is, the second section is real easy. You're just doing the same thing on the D minor, you're just kinda going back and forth between the chord and the root, the root and the five. And then we're gonna add two two note voicings. Right? So here's the D minor and it's fifth. D minor fifth again. So you can kind of think of this as a root note and it's major third, this little two note shape, which is kind of like a G major chord. But we're playing it on the eighth note of the A string, which is an F, right? And then we're taking its major third and then the beginning power chord of that D minor again, right? So it's gonna be the first part of this section. So the next part of this section is just like the other one. It's just D and it's fifth. Three times. Now what I'm doing is I'm grabbing kind of the top of that chord we used earlier, where it's just the third fret, E and B, and then the fifth fret of the D and the G string, right? Then back to the first part of this section. And then we're gonna go back to the same thing as we did at the end of the first section, which is that B flat power chord. The 
only difference is this time, after we do the little run here, we're gonna end on kind of like an F voice, and you can use whatever F you want, but we're matching it, and this is like just an interesting thing you can think of as, as a duet. You don't wanna play the exact same thing. Remember in the lead part, we did, and we played an F right here, in a A major voicing, if you will. The second time, or the second guitar that we're using, we're playing a lower octave, and you're using a lower octave F to create synergy, which is what we're doing. We're bringing balance to the force by using different voicings across two different guitars. And uh, yeah, maybe find a friend, play it together. There you go, there it is.